Hey friends, it's Mr. Rob. And Eleanor. And your friend Otto is here with us too. Today was such a nice day, we thought we'd make our video outside so that we could spend some time outside with you. I hope you had some fun outside. Yeah. If you did, don't forget, you can send us a picture or a video and we'll, we'll show the rest of the friends. I think we're gonna mostly do the same things we do every time. Yeah. So what's the first thing we do, Eleanor? We plant a plant. We do, and you know, speaking of plants, maybe Otto will help us look. Look at this from day one. Look at our plant is so tall now. Hold it nice and steady, Otto. There we go. And we have plants showing in day one. Here, I'll, I'll just show them. Maybe I'll make a little picture for you guys and show you that. Day one, two, three, four, all have plants. I'm looking at day five, no plant in there yet. Uh, but I think today we're gonna do our next plant. Here's a marker to write on the little pot. Right. What number are we gonna write? Let's do counting to remember. I need you to help because this is gonna be a big number. So you will count with and that will help us, right Eleanor? Sure will. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So after seven comes eight. eight. So I'll write an eight on the plant. Eight sort of looks like a snowman that you're not done building. Two circles, one on top of the other. You see? Nice. All right, well, we know that our plants need soil and water and air and light, light and love. love. So let's put some soil in there. Help us count. How count many scoops? scoops? One, One scoop. Two, two scoops. scoops. Three. Three scoops. Oh, I think it's a big scoop day today. I do two. Four, four scoops. scoops. Is that enough? Sure is. Okay. <laughs> we got a little dirt on our table clock. That's, That's okay. okay. All right. So now we'll poke a hole in our dirt for two seeds, and Mr. Rob will get two tiny little radish seeds. One, two. There they are. They are so small. Oh boy, they're small. They're smaller than the seed of an apple but they're bigger than the seed of a strawberry. Maybe that helps you know how small they are. I'm gonna yeah. put them in. One, Ooh. two. Ooh. All right, now we'll cover up the hole and it's time to water all of our plants. Let's count the days while we water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I think our tray is getting a little too small. We'll have to scooch them in a little, and then maybe we'll have to get a second tray or a little bigger tray. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Maybe, Otto, will you come help us? Could you take this away from us, please, bud? Yep. What a nice helper we have in our friend you can put Otto. On the big table. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think after doing that with the plants, I've been thinking of plants because it was so beautiful outside. Earlier today, we went for a walk and we looked for flowers and we found a bunch. Oh yeah. We found crocuses that were blue and purple. What other? Snowdrops that were white. Mm-hmm. I think one of our neighbors had planted some pansies, which were yellow and brown and black. Very pretty. I hope you've been going on some walks and looking for some things from nature. I also, just a little bit ago, before I started filming, I saw some geese flying right that way. That's so cool. Honking and flying together. So we were thinking about plants and we thought it could be fun to use containers like this. I think this used to have rice in it. This used to have mayo in it. <laughs> Mayonnaise. And we cleaned them out really well. And I think we're gonna make something called a terrarium. That's kind of a big word, huh? Yeah. A terrarium is just um, it's a place for a plant that is all closed up. So we're going to put some things in here and then we're going to plant some plants in our terrarium. And then maybe over the next few days, we can see how these grow too. Exactly. Um, the first thing we're going to put in, and friends, 
You can totally do this at home. I bet you have an empty container, uh, maybe one from some peanut butter or some sunflower seed butter, uh, or maybe you have one like this from rice or this from mayonnaise. And in one, they, of our, in one of our last shows, our friend Freya was doing the same thing. So you saw her do that with her family with mushrooms. Yeah, right? that's a similar but different. Uh, the first thing we're gonna put in is at the bottom so that not too much water gets into our terrarium. We need to put something. I have some rocks here. And what's in this big cup? Glass marbles. They're very pretty. They're They're like, pretty to look at, but they whoa. wouldn't be good to put in your mouth. No, they would not. They kind of sometimes look like something you'd eat, but they're, they are dangerous to put in your mouth, but they're fine to put in your terrarium. So I'm going to put some rocks in the bottom of mine, and what do you want to put in yours? I want to put marbles in mine. All right, I'm going to reach down and put in one handful, two handfuls, three handfuls, I think that's about four handfuls. And if you look, that's about the right amount. Just enough, I think. I'm gonna do marbles in mine. They make some really cool sounds. Ooh, listen to that. I'm gonna pour. There's some pretty yellow marbles right next to you if you want some yellow ones too. Sure. Okay. Ooh. Is that enough? I think that's great. All Otto, right. will you take a look at these? Could you help our friends mm -hmm. take a look? There are my rocks. And then let's take a look at Eleanor's marble. I think they look very pretty in the light. Oh, so pretty. Everything looks a little nicer in the sunlight, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, just like when we were planting our radish seeds, the next thing we need is some dirt, some soil. I'm gonna use this big shovel. It's kind of a small shovel, but it feels big for the job we're doing. I'm gonna reach in there. And I'm just gonna put it right on top of my rocks. One scoop, two scoops. I think I'm gonna do one more scoop, three scoops. And then I'm gonna reach in there with my hand and I'm gonna pat it down a little bit. And look at that, looking good. Otto, will you show my friends? Yep. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. While you see Mr. Rob's, I'm gonna do the same with mine. I'll scoop in dirt. Yeah. It's gonna be a little harder to see the rocks after that, but that's okay. They're, they're still... there and they're doing a job which is making sure that if we put a little too much water in at some point, it doesn't stay right where the plant's roots are. It goes down where the rocks are. It'll help it be a nice, healthy little terrarium. If it's a little harder to hear us today, that's because we're outside and there are all sorts of sounds. Sometimes you might hear a dog barking. You might hear birds tweeting. You might hear a car or a train go by. Who knows? Um, well, you know, this is fun, but does that look like it has uh, nice plants in it? It does not. No, it looks kind of empty. Oh, look at this. Eleanor and Otto and I went outside earlier today and we looked for some moss and some plants that we could put in our terrarium and we found a bunch. We made a little video of that. So maybe we'll show that after this. Uh, but you can go out uh, with mom and dad and, and you could look for some plants that you could put in your terrarium or if you have some seeds, you could do that. Mm -hmm. Whatever works for you. Uh, I Do you want to choose first? Sure. I'm going to choose this oh. little jade plant. Oh, Otto, will you show our friends the jade plant? Ooh, I really like... love jade plants. I have a lot in my room this and is... we have a lot in our kitchen. This is a jade plant that our friend Tia Sarah gave us. Thank you, Otto. You're welcome. All right, how are you gonna plant that, Eleanor? What are I you gonna do? I think I'm gonna put it. Do you need to poke right a hole with your finger, here. maybe? I think I do. There you go, because that one already has roots. It's all ready to go. Mm, I'm looking at some of these other plants. This plant has a little plant with round leaves and some grass. You wanna show our friends? Definitely. All right. There you go. I'm gonna put that in mine. I'm gonna also just poke a little hole with my finger, boop, boop, and put it right in there. Now, you know what? I was thinking it could be fun to put some other things in there. Yeah. I've, I've got this smooth rock that mm. I found on the beach last summer, and I haven't quite figured out what I wanted to do with it. Sometimes it's nice to hold. In my sized hand, it fits really nicely. 
And Eleanor, I see your, your buddy Otto found some rocks over there by you. He sure did. Do you want to put some rocks in yours or no? I think I'll put one or two in there. I'm going to make this rock stand up tall. Ooh, <laughs> I like that idea. That's kind of funny. Because usually you wouldn't see a rock standing up tall. Usually they lay down flat. Yeah. Put in a couple rocks. Oh, and here's... something that grows on rocks that we have is moss. Yeah. It grows on a lot of things. Maybe Otto will help you see this too, friends. This is a little clover plant. It's like you, when you're looking for a four leaf clover, just like that. All right, I'm gonna plant that in mine. I'm going no to four leaf some... clovers. Uh, Otto's, Otto checked and he says there are no four leaf clovers on that. That's okay. I'm it can to... still my, be my little friend plant, even though it doesn't have four leaves on it. I'm going to put some pieces of moss in mine, like we just talked about. I'm going to do this piece. It's pretty big. All right. I'm taking a piece. The moss co uh, comes out sort of in a sheet, like a piece of paper. Pretty cool. Hmm. I'm even going to tear it. I see you're tearing yours too to make it fit just right. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put mine by my rocks to see if it will grow on the rocks. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I'd be really interested to see how that goes. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to be done. I think done. everything that's in mine is, is just the way I like it. Although maybe, do you think, friends, I should put in one more rock? Does this look like a good stone to put in? I think so. Okay, well, let's do that. I'm going to put it right here in the corner. I'm going to do this little plant with little ridges on the leaves. Ooh, yeah, we found that one. Uh, and some ones like it growing in cracks in the sidewalk. Any plant that'll grow in a crack in the sidewalk will do a good job growing in our little terrariums. Thank you, Otto. You're welcome. Come. Saw another piece of moss that I want to put in. Mm. All right. And then when you're done, maybe we'll... Otto, will you bring us the water pitcher, please? Yeah. Thank you, bud. You're welcome. For <laughs> terrariums... We're talking about plants, and I called him bud. Sometimes you call the part of a flower that's still growing a bud. <laughs> for terrariums, you can spray the plants or you can water them like Mr. Robbins yeah, did. I think for the starting one, I'm going to do water. Not a lot, just enough. Yeah. Just what I think is enough. Too much water could be not so good for the plants. And then I'm going to put the lid on. And Otto, will you show our friends mm -hmm. my terrarium now that it's done? Boy, if you make a terrarium with your family, I'd sure love it if you'd share a picture of it with us. See how you choose to make yours. All right, I'll put some water into mine as well. Yep, got to give it some water. Ooh. Very nice. All right. I'll put should I put mine right here or should I put it further away on the table? Uh, you can put it right there. Do you think that um, our friend wants to take a look at it? Sure. Should we put the lid on? Sure. Lid it up. And now the water we put in there will stay in there. And here, do you want to hand it to your brother? Mm-hmm. There you go. He's going to show it to you guys. Ooh, look at the pretty green moss and that lovely jade plant. And you can see the rock she put in there. Fun, fun, fun. I'm very excited. Okay. Well, I think now it would be a good time for us, what do you think, uh, maybe to check in with our friends who are doing things at home? Sure. I think we have a couple friends checking in. Let's go look at that. Hi, Luna and Anna. Ooh, what are Freya and Matilda doing? I see a bowl and maybe flour. Ooh, looks like there's some measuring going on. Mixing. Wait, are those chocolate chips? Oh, look at that. I think I see some cookies. There they are, baking in the oven. And now they're all cooked. That looks yummy. That was fun to see our friends. It was funny how Luna was right in front of our school, even though we aren't going to school right now. Yes. We're staying home so that everyone can stay healthy. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think she misses her friends at Pilgrim, and I know I do too. 
Is it okay to feel maybe even a little sad? Of course. Is it okay to feel um, some hard feelings of missing friends? Yes. Do you know what? We only feel those feelings about the people we care about. And it just means that you've made lots of great friends at Pilgrim School who, who care about you and who you care about. Yep. Yeah. Your teachers and your friends love you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think now would be a good time for us to tell a story. We're going to tell a story outside. Right here. Otto, will you tell me when I'm in the right spot? Yep. How's this? Perfect. Oh, great. This book is called In the Small, Small Pond. It's written and the pictures are made by a woman named Denise Fleming, who Mr. Rob has met. These pictures are really neat because what she did is she didn't paint this, she didn't draw it. She took colored paper and mushed it up and put it together and that's how she made this. This is all paper. She says it takes her a very long time to make these pictures. So in the small, small pond. Oh, look there, little frog jumping. Hey Otto, can we see both pages? Uh, yep. Awesome. Perfect. Super. Hey guys, I'm not doing so bad. Oh, look! Here are the words that Denise Fleming wrote to me. It says, For Rob and Kristen. And then it says, Denise Fleming, 2002. And she drew me a picture of a... Do you know what that is, friends? That's a fish. So fun. She was very nice. Here we go, in the small, small pond. I think this book takes place in the spring because there are lots of baby animals. A little later in the spring, but still in the spring. <gasps> in the small, small pond. Look, splash. See the frog splashing into the water? We're having a little trouble turning the pages. There we go. Wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles wriggle. Waddle, wade, geese parade. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. Drowse, doze, eyes close. Lash, lunge, herons plunge. Splitter, splatter. Minnows scatter. Circle swirl, whirly gigs twirl. Sweep, swoop, swallows scoop. Swallows are a type of bird. Click, clack, claws crack. You see, see those guys? Dabble dip, tails flip. Ducks are trying to eat the fish, I think. Splish, splash, paws, flash. There the raccoon is washing off some food that it's going to eat. Pile, pack, muskrat, stack. Chill breeze, winter freeze, cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Look at that, the pond went all the way from spring to summer to winter. Pretty cool. Today's song is one that I know my friend Luna likes a whole lot. It's a song by our friend Jim Gill, who lives right here in Oak Park. We sang a song that he introduced me to way back a while ago called May There Always Be Sunshine. This one is a silly dance contest. Who's gonna be a silly dancer? Me! All right, I'm gonna play the guitar and sing the song. And are you guys gonna be silly dancers? That's right. I need you guys to dance too. Ready? Goes like this. Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Oh, good job. Let's try it a different way. Dance as slow as you want to. Dance as slow as you please. Dance as slow as you want 
two, but stop when I say three. It's kind of easy to freeze when you're already moving slow. Mm. What is another way we could do it? What's the opposite of slow? Slow and what do you guys think? Fast. All right, you ready? I better shake my hand to get it ready. Shake your bodies, get ready. Ready and dance as fast as you want to. Dance as fast as you please. Dance as fast as you want to. But stop when I say freeze. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this one just the normal way, any way you want to. I think maybe I'll dance too. I need you to dance and dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. <laughs> All right, friends. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Take care. Have fun. Bye. Hi friends, we're out in the nice sun getting some exercise and we're also looking for plants so that we can make terrariums. And we found a lot in the sidewalk cracks. So we are going to very nicely pull them up carefully. Eleanor's trying to get the roots so that plant can grow. How do we think we did? I think we did okay. Okay. And then we can put it on a little tray and then put it in our terrariums to grow. Super. Um, Plants that grow in the sidewalk cracks are good because they're going into a little container, so they don't need much dirt. Hey, Otto, do you want us to rollerblade away? Sure. All right, go on. I found a nice patch of soft moss. I'm going to take some of it using my little shovel. I'm going to dig under, and I'm going to go around it. I think I can just pick it up now. Look at that. There it is underneath. On top. I'm just going to take some. I'm going to leave more around it so that it can grow back. It's doing a nice job there and I don't want to bother it. Here's another little plant right here. I'm going to dig this one up using my shovel again. This one is going to have something on top of it pretty soon. So I'll take it. This is actually probably keeping it from getting smushed. Ooh, you can sort of see the, the roots under there. There's the top. 